Today we want to ask at the monastery if we can sleep there. The nun just said no. Half an hour ago a huntsman discovered us. Seven kilometers. Seven kilometers to go. And the sun is shining. And the rain is coming soon. Today we want to ask at the monastery if we can stay there. Maybe for one night. We will see. I just cycled 60. Yeah, yeah, yes, I gesehen. saw you. There was a speed control with a smiley face. Yeah, yeah. Very sad. No, I didn't see it. Yeah, just normal speed control. Smiley was very sad. Ah, nice. I hope they, they yeah, the radar took a picture. Oh God. Uh, no. If it's now going downhill, it's going uphill again, right? Yep, downhill means uphill. Uh, of course. We just talked to the nun, she called the father, at first the nun said no, and then she said we have to pay for sleeping here, but I don't understand her at all, she's talking French but my French is very rusty, but now the father came and he can speak German and he said, oh, no problem. Yeah, the, the, the pater really enjoyed what we do, explained to the nun and uh, suddenly they, all of them find it really nice what we do, so problem solved. Now we're cycling to Beatrice, she's giving us a room and half past seven we we will have dinner and there's also time for praying. We will see. This is our room. Beatrice was very nice, very funny. She is so cool. Also, she is really lustig. Yeah, I know. Beatrice is a really funny, funny woman. She's really lovely. At first we thought uh, we will be separated for the night, but we can sleep here together in this room. The room beside us, there's the breakfast room and we can take everything, the tea and bread, different kinds of tea, she explained to us. <laughs> Now we will take a shower, we sweat a lot, you can see it on the t-shirt. Yeah, it's quite wet. Actually, it's time for praying, but uh, Beatrice was laughing and just twinkled to us, oh, we can have a shower right now, we don't have to pray. <laughs> and that's what we want to do, we take a shower. <laughs> We are going to clean up, pack our stuff, clean the ground, take out the trash. We don't have any, but yeah, the weather is very nice. It's about 8 a.m. We just parked our bikes here yesterday. Now we're going to get our breakfast ready. Oh, I really enjoyed that we can use the garage. We 
took all our luggage out. Now we're going to go back to the house of Britannia, it's called, and get breakfast. We are leaving the monastery Chef Tonje. Benedictina Kloster, where we heard a lot. Where we slept tonight, uh, Benedictina Monastery. We refilled our water bottles and we continue our trip to Hotte. It's still in the French part of Belgium. We will see. Have a look on my new flag. Very natural. Very nice. <laughs> Recycling the Euro Velo 5. The trail comes from Great Britain. It's so nice to cycle here because for long distance cyclists it's perfect, no cars around. But there was no other cyclist so far who was packed like us with this kind of luggage. <laughs> Just normal bicycle. Soon we will publish an article on our website about the route planning and also some tips about navigation. It's stable. It stops. It's blocked, there is nothing. It's, it just ends. We decided to spend the night here in the forest. There are a lot of mushrooms. And that's why we want to sleep in the hammock and not in the tent tonight. And as you can see, there's not enough space to put the tent here. Everything is ready. Now we are cooking our dinner. So this is our hammock place. We are sleeping above each other. And you can see on the top the tarp. It's against rain and the sun. And it's good for hiding in the forest also. You can see our mattresses. It's very cozy. We are cooking carrots, potatoes, onions, peanuts, chili, and also some rice. Over there you can see my working space. I cut it, the vegetables, and I also prepared for breakfast tomorrow. Dried apricots. This was a gift of our last house. We put some ginger, raisins inside, make some porridge, I guess. Apples. Vielleicht mischen wir noch ein bisschen Apfelsirup mit rein. Dann wird es noch mal ein bisschen süß und schmeckt richtig gut. We collected our stuff, it's time for leaving, we already had breakfast.
Halb It's zehn. half past nine. Vor einer halben Stunde war ein Jäger da. And half an hour ago there was a huntsman and he discovered ja, us. So he was asking <lacht> us we long we want to stay here. And I said, uh, no, we are leaving. And he said, ah, it's not a problem, but I want to start hunting now. <laughs> so it's a very dangerous area here. We didn't know before. He's going to hunt the man bear pig. <laughs> yes, right, the man bear pig. So, time to leave. It's not easy to get out of the forest here. For me, it's too heavy, so Daniel is pushing my bicycle. We just made 40 kilometers today, it's not much, but a lot of meters of elevations, always up and downhill and uphill, very exhausting. It's half past two and we decided to come to an end. So, we're done for today and we will put the tent somewhere here. Very nice place. It's going to be hard to cycle up, but it will be nice. We are so close to our destination for today. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Not easy. Not easy. Not enough mountains for us. More, please, more mountains. The back wheel spins freely. Did you see it? Yes, and I'm going crazy. The slow motion here. Yes, finally. We did it. So beautiful. Next to a very nice chapel. This is a really old chapel, but it looks so nice. And there we can see our fireplace for tonight. And I'm excited. Dinner!
we already prepared the vegetables for the dinner. Like the last days, we have carrots, potatoes, with onions, same procedure as the last days. These are our sleeping bags and you see the inner inlet and our fireplace. I like it. Yeah, it's quite cold. And the sun is nice and near cycling, it's a perfect temperature. But as soon as you stop, you feel it's autumn. This morning it has 11 degrees when we get up, during the night, like 8 or something, it's quite cold. It doesn't matter where I am sitting, it's always direction to the smoke. We prepare the onions, frying in oil, after that we put potatoes inside and we already cleaned the rice and we'll cook it at next. At first we prepare the sauces and then we put aside and prepare carrots, potatoes, whatever, and the rice and then we put the sauce back on the fire. Normally we cook on the hobo stove, therefore you just need small pieces of wood. But for this world trip we said sometimes maybe you cannot find some wood for burning the hobo stove, so we decided to cook with a multi-fuel cooker. There you can take benzene, petrol, kerosene, it's available all over the world, very easy. We're also cycling when it's raining, so as soon as it's burning, it's okay, but before you need to really find dry wood. Some cheese. Cheese. Today we will reach Luxembourg. It's the third country we cycled. But a lot of meters of elevation and uphill till we reach it. But we have legs like Arnold Schwarzenegger right now. Although we cycle not much kilometers, you feel the legs in the evening. So far, we already cycled 1,500 kilometers. 1,500. Wow. Well done. 1,500. I can't believe it. 1,500. Can't talk any fast. Oh, 
Oh, you were slipping on the on the leaves. Where? Okay. You want to get up or stay seated? One, two, three. Let's sit down first, huh? Go, go there. There is no mud. I will take the bike. Nothing broken, huh? Okay. It's all fine. Nothing broken. It will, it will turn blue, but I hope that's it. How does your joints feel? Yes, I don't know. It's hurting. I slipped at the wet leaves, fell on this side, my clothes are destroyed, there are some holes now, also on the panniers, there's my laptop inside, I hope it's still working, we have to check tonight, I don't know if it's still waterproof. Yeah, and the holder for the bottle was bent a bit. I, I just repaired. So she got lucky, it's fine. No bones got hurt. And you didn't fall into the river, so you got lucky. Yes, that's true. Yeah, it's better here than on the traffic on the street. <laughs> 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 